Hello, here's a short tutorial in which I show the asset browser in Blender just a basic workflow. Here's an example project with a simple mesh, I added a bevel and a weighted normal modifier to it to make the edges more crisp. This is Blender 2.93, an experimental version with the new feature, the asset browser. We can open it, for example here in the window at the bottom. Here we go and in this view we can manage scenes animations, objects, shaders as reusable assets. Ok, so let me show you first how to define a material, this dark one here, that I assign to the active object as an asset. To do this, I right click the material and then I choose Mark Asset. After that, you can see that the material is added to the shading tab in the asset browser. This is always done for the current blend file, but there's also an option custom that has one entry at the moment that points to a folder, the default asset library location. You can define it in the preferences, here under edit, preferences, file path, and you see a default path is defined, but I could add more locations if I like. And when I save blend files at these locations, the assets inside of these files can be used in the asset browser when I select the library there. Ok, so I will create such a library now, but before that I create a simple object that I can use as a boolean cutter. After that I will define it as a reusable asset that we can use for instance with my JMesh tools add-on. It will be a kind of cylinder with a cap that we can use to cut into the mesh. So I scale it up, I press the S key followed by Z, select this face E to extrude, S to scale and we end up with a kind of bold that we can use, for instance, for boolean difference operations. I apply the scale, because I scaled in object mode, and now we have the cutter object that will be added to the asset browser at this location, objects and collections, after we marked it as asset. So I right click the object in the outliner and select ID data mark asset. And here we have it in the asset browser. Ok, but I want to save it to an asset library so that we can reuse it in any project. So what I do is I go to File, Save, Copy and save it to the default asset library folder. Alright, now let's see if we can reuse the assets. I undo the changes, I reload my file without saving the changes. And again I open the asset browser. But now, instead of using the current file, I select the default library and you see we have here the material that I can assign by just dragging it onto the mesh and I can also drag in the cutter. Ok, nice, now you see we can reuse the assets that we created from any other project. Ok, now I'm going to use the cutter with my JMesh Tools add-on, I'm positioning the cutter so that I can cut into the mesh here at the corner. Then I add a circular array, increase the count to 4, looks good and then we can apply the modifier and then press difference, the cube is already the target to cut into the object. Nice and with this feature you can create more complex asset libraries, add reusable assets to speed up and simplify your workflow. Now I'm using this one here for a slice operation, like that, and then I assign a different material, which is also an asset, and then we can, for instance, symmetrize the mesh. I will add asset libraries to my JMesh Tools add-on, so that I have a few sample materials and boolean cutters to start with. By the way, you can get my add-on also now from the Blender market. Don't worry, it is still free, but if you'd like to support me, this means my channel, the development and the Blender Dev Fund, you can get it from the Blender market. You can also get it from my Gumroad page, but in both cases, Blender market or Gumroad, you get special support. The links are added to the description below. So guys, I hope you liked the video and my channel. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Support me by being my patron or join here as a channel member for nice perks. If you have any questions, add these to the comments and I see you in the next one here on JNM.